hello guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you something that is very special it's called why wyckoff and supplier and demand so the first things i want to show you is uh like the logic of supplier and demand let us just one time to forget about the schematic the one that is here this is a pure 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 plus action i want to show you guys how you can make money if you check from here market is going on the rally phase we are on the rally phase this is what we call on the on supply and demand for some people they'll tell you if it's an uptrend then market gets on this area create a base market created this base the one that we have here then market drop drop to where to come and break this structure they break this structure small if you don't pay attention you won't even understand that there is a break of structure from this area here they break this small structure here with a pin then market push to the outside why do you expect to sell because we have our strong level for supplier market create a demand and market create a supplier on top here then market get on that level check what happened because here we are expecting to sell i can sell from here i can sell from here let's say i can use the 50 percent of the block there then I put my stop loss maybe on top, something like that, you know, just something like this. Then uh, I target the low point. That is also amazing. I can do that. Then if we calculate the pips from there where I'm selling from my supplier level to this level is 250 pips. Then what happened? Because market creates a level where we have our demand. I could take another... I could take another buy from here, then push to the upside to see how market going to react to this area where we have our structure. Then if you check here, we've got another structure that market created. So when we are buying from here, we are targeting this level and we are targeting this here. The market break that structure, then starts coming down again. But at the same time, one thing you need to keep in mind is market already creates a level of demand down. But check here, there was inefficiency that market return to come and mitigate that area. Then market push again to the upside. Market push the upside to go and mitigate this area here. As you can check the line, there is a black, red, and black again. This is, this is a weekly inefficiency level on that zone. Let me show you so that you see what I'm talking about. I'm not just making stories. So if you can check, we've got the weekly inefficiency, the one that is here, Markets return. This is why we had this schematic before that inefficiency. You see, so when market mitigates that area, then market start doing what? Market starts dropping again. This is on the supplier and demand. Market creates a level of liquidity. Then they fake out that zone. Here already we have our flippy zone, and this is one of our entry approach. We understand we have our demand level there they touch our demand level then from here to the top this was like almost 135 pips then markets drop again more so if you check where markets drop more market drop to a level where we have another demand zone here we have another demand zone so markets touch that demand zone then market start pushing to the upside. So because I understand again supply and demand, I could take another sell position from here. Why? Because I see a compression as one of my, my entry requirement approach. I could take another sell position from here, coming down with it, that give me almost 147 pips. We come this level, we create another level of liquidity. This is supply and demand, guys. Then we push again to the upside. We return again. When market was going to the upside, market create a level of demand here. Market return to the area. Then market start buying, pushing. Then on the demand level and supplier, people that they are trading, it's even me, I'll tell you, I see a QML. This is the I. This is the low. I, I, then lower low. Where do you expect market to sell? You expect to sell on this strong level of supplier. Because most of the people, they'll tell you there is a block there. And this block has been used to run liquidity. They never, uh, like, this is the, like the last up candlestick before market drop. Then 
this is where we're expecting again to come and tell so all this movement you see happening here is just for it to push to the upside we are done with uh, supplier and demand let me show you something before i done with these things something fast 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 okay is here is here you see here we have the break of structure market return test the area drop return again then we drop this crazy now by the way let us go to wyckoff so on wyckoff side what you need to keep in mind is uh how the price is working the way they are building this schematic at the same time they're building schematic then you as you know supply and demand it will take advantage of all this movement than waiting to come and start selling from you people that are trading supply and demand they could make more money on this schematic and the last time they're gonna sell again is this area here this is what i was explaining to you guys market give us the primary supplier then market give us the buy climax when markets come down here we know already once we have this we know already market is gonna pull to go and test so when market is going to test we're expecting to sell again from that area but this is a non-trade uh, environment where you're supposed not to take your trade you need to wait for all the schematic to complete so that we can take your trade but as long as i understand supplier and demand i'll be able to take trades anywhere i want you see guys so you could take another here because market return here is supposed to give us a sign of, of weakness but didn't give us a sign of weakness then push to give us the up trust then come again down to this uh, inefficiency the one that is here fail to take out this low or this low then market did what push again to give us the up trust by the way what me i focus more when i'm trading let's say distribution i'm looking for the buy climax i'm looking for the up trust and the up trust after distribution these are the three things that i focus i don't i don't give a damn of what is happening down i give my main focus on the what is happening on top as long as i've got one two three then if i'm using supplier and demand i'll tell you this is a 3d 3d price approach to the key level 3d one touch second touch and third touch then i could sell so you need to understand this concept they are very powerful just that you need to know how to use them on supply and demand i'll use it like this one two three i know it's my third touch at the key level where price is selling then i can put my trend here you know market is returning to this area and sell then you can see markets return again here to come and test the buy climax then market drop here is the last point of supply why is the last point of supply because it's returning again on my entry requirements i'll tell you i'll sell from here because i see one of my entry requirement there this long week engulfs the small week there is one of my entry requirements on the key level we'll check another entry here again we have the last point of supply because we have a structure here the break structure from this area then market return test the area then drop so simple and you can check even here market break this area return to come and mitigate this level then we go again down we return again because before market drop to downside it created this area this is the sr flip where support tend to become resistance then markets create a resistance here then drop you see very 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 powerful stuff powerful stuff so uh this is what i wanted to show you guys you need to understand these two concepts you need to apply them in your trading journey because they are so powerful and they're gonna help you a lot a lot a lot at the same time when someone is waiting when someone is using let's say indicators i don't know how the indicators they're gonna look from this area let me like just look for fast 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 let me check moving average i don't know which one i need to put I don't know which one is there <laughs> i don't even know how moving average works so maybe it's gonna be moving average let's say 50 maybe they yeah, apply to close yo i don't know i don't know maybe how, how they call it ah let me just put like this then if you can check check the way moving average is crossing i don't even know how these people are using it <laughs> but i'm not against moving average just that i don't i don't understand it the way it's working so as i was telling you guys on wyckoff when you are trading wyckoff make sure you focus on what is happening on top at the same time on supply and demand i'll tell you this is a three drive so i'm waiting for 